Do you or someone that you know take the very popular weight loss supplement? Maybe it's Ozempic, maybe it's Wagovi. Have you or that person ever double checked to make sure you didn't get a counterfeit item? Wait until you hear how many are out there. The World Health Organization saying it has found out that batches of counterfeit Ozempic's active ingredient were in at least three countries, including the United States. News Nation's Alicia Nieves joins us now. So Alicia, you know, how long has the WHO, the World Health Organization, been tracking these fakes? Could there be more out there? Certainly likely, Elizabeth, they could be more out there. As far as we know, the World Health Organization says it's been kind of observing this increased number of reports coming in about falsified semaglutide and other GLP-1 products globally since about 2022. But this official notice is the first time we're seeing them kind of follow through after finding confirmation of these falsified batches in various countries, we're talking Brazil, the UK, Northern Ireland, and then, as you mentioned, even here in the U.S. Now, these fake batches of counterfeit um, are counterfeited. They're shipped all over the world, giving you an idea of just the reach, impact, and concern here. Now, according to the notice from the World Health Organization, um, a shortage of the supply for these diabetes drugs, also used for weight loss drugs, has led to this sudden increase that we're seeing in these counterfeit drugs. The cause, though, of that supply shortage problem is an increase in kind of overwhelming demand. Researchers at the University of Michigan actually share some data with us. They sorted through a national database representing 92% of pharmacies finding over the last three years, an almost 600% increase in the number of just adolescents and young adults using Wagovi, Ozempic, and other GLP-1s. The WHO is also warning with this notice that the danger in these falsified or counterfeit batches of the commonly used GLP-1s like Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro, and there's others out there, is that the ingredients or raw components are not verified. They may not have the actual semaglutide or the tazepatide or those other kind of key ingredients that they're claiming to have, leading to potentially unmanaged blood glucose levels or even unmanaged weight. But even more concerning is that there could be other undeclared kind of active ingredients in these false batches, which could be life-threatening. Now, just to give you a bit of an example of the reality of that, in the UK, for example, one batch of about 600 counterfeit pens of Ozempic were recently seized and followed at least a half dozen reports of people who use some of those counterfeit products having adverse and serious concerning kind of health reactions. One woman even reported to doctors um, that she was told by those doctors uh, that if she used one more of those fake pens, she could have died. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.